If you're one of the millions of Americans who lost jobs during the coronavirus pandemic, we know some financial help is coming. But whether it's unemployment benefits or a stimulus check, you might still be looking to save a few extra dollars until this whole thing blows over. Here are six places where you can save some cash. First, let's talk living expenses, which for most of us is the biggest chunk of change we hand over. If we're talking mortgage, talk to your lender about a new payment plan. Even a small pause on payments can go a long way for your wallet. And if you're renting, you could see if they would be willing to use your deposit as a buffer. In some parts of the country, you can't get kicked out of your home, so find out your local housing ordinances and hunker down, buddy. If you have debt, now is the time to figure it out. Whether it's a short break on payments or lowering those evil interest rates, give your lender a ring because they would rather have you pay slowly than not pay at all. Some companies are lowering credit limits or even canceling cards that have been used due to the crisis. If you had a really nice, hefty health insurance plan with your employer, but now you don't, you're not completely out of options. You can continue your plan through COBRA with an out-of-pocket cost, and if that's not doable right now, you also have the option of Medicaid. They look at how much you are making and not how much you were making. So health insurance? Check. Kudos to you for savings and being prepared, but a retirement fund might not be what you should be saving for right now. Those funds may be better used towards an emergency fund for the near future. Probably best to save a three to six month emergency fund first before you return to saving for that retirement again. Even if you have a credit card, now is the time to look at some other card options. Less rewards might not look so great, but the extra money in your wallet from no annual fees, transfer fees, or 0% interest for the first year does. It's painful, but you might have to cut back on some luxuries. For example, our cell phones that we are all so attached to. I'm not saying toss it, no. Do not do that, but it's time we make cutbacks where we can. Opening the conversation with your provider might be a good idea right now. They could offer a more basic plan at a discounted price to keep you as a customer or help you out with a payment plan. While we're stuck at home, we're definitely favoring some streaming services over others. What should we do with those we barely touch? Drop them, at least for now. Now that your mind is at ease and your wallet is thicker, you can get back to binge-watching your favorite show. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for all notifications from Radio.com. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other great videos?